Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this video tutorial, I am going to explain how to add a very very important menu. It's called Past and AutoCAD or AutoCAD Civil 3D. It's very important. You can see the highlight by the help of this menu. You can do it easily counting, checking the coordinates, using circles around the digits. So you can do these things and you can uh, create by the help of these coding points coding anything so you can create it so easily and you can uh, do anything with the help of this uh, menu okay so you can see this here is position manager which i add it's before i already added this menu you can add this one this one is paid and some trial version is free so let me show how to add this new menu you can see on the desktop this one i will give this link in the description you can download it just extract this one first of all download this from the description okay let's go you can see this one here you will see the helps one is an arabic language and the second is in english language okay this guy is creating his references here okay let me show here the english just go and from here you can see which command shortcut is doing which one work if you see the drawings journal it's doing this work for the drawings attributes is doing these commands you can use this for attributes for blocks you can use these shortcuts and this command detail is here for dimension layers layout lines arc polyline everything is here it's very comprehensive menu and it will make easy your job very much once you do this and use some things and do a practice you will be very satisfied even in quantity surveying it will help very very much let's i will show you how to upload first of all you can see this one this is the setup okay here this one okay this is the setup menu just click here and you can install it from here just go and install it will give you a warning but uh, let you can just run it run anyway so it will install automatically just go to the next option and go to browse at c is okay we want to install it in folder c okay click in and finish it's, it's here we goes it's now installed and now go to the AutoCAD go to this option okay here we will enter a command menu m e n u menu load we will put menu load and press enter let's see this command remember keep it in mind you must should to enter this command enter and from here you can see the other menu is loaded before we will browse this from here to it and load browse and go to the from here I go to the place where is our this uh, menu go to drive C we installed already here you can see okay this menu is available here in Troy C because we install it in Troy C go to this one and select this option from here and open and it will be load just click on load it will be load automatically and you, you can see here okay this one is loaded already okay close it uh, now you can see your display layers everything is changed and it's added here automatically okay to the menu bar okay from lines and attribute blocks dimensions layers layout lines objects bodies quantities everything is here which i explained to you just few minutes ago and the helps pages okay read okay let me open some drawing this is our existing drawing let me show something how we can use it the few commands i want to explain let's go to xyz xy and put it here we will use the xy how we can display by the help of this menu xy we don't need to add or upload any other uh, lisp command so this one is enough because it's working everything is there our lisp is there you can use it at once don't need to enter separately lisps for anything okay you can see this 
sting not thing and this is the lens so we don't need the l it's uh, we can change it from the setting okay later i will show you how to change uh, from here x y you can see here it's if you remove this one or it's click uh, you can you can remove it as well as how you need you can uh, uncheck this one so it will be not sure okay and here you can see this one is zero because i put it zero if you un if you uncheck this box this one uh, it will be disappear automatically let me show you again okay uh here it goes it is only listing and nothing you can see it uh the rank is on for local coordinates it's not correct but just just for the example to show these things is enough okay uh here we go so our coordinate is okay uh let me show something uh, like line polyline circle and things okay uh, let me delete this first we will go to uh, some command he will use circle let's put here circle one with c enter and here we put rectangle or ec press and put one rectangle here and then we will put again polyline as polyline okay we will check the length of this and does things okay let me show the line here straight line okay so we will see is uh, i think we need to enter one ellipsoid okay uh, it's okay this shape so we will check the um, areas length and polyline length and other line length you will go to the tl just go to tl and select the line which you need to check the length is showing line length if you go to again the tl for the polyline it will show you this is polyline here is a lot of things is on but it, which you create it's give you correctly is this is polyline or line or this is rectangle or circle you can see here polyline this is created by polyline okay if you go to again tl you can see this is quantity surveying this is related to areas select all it will show you how much is the line length how much is polyline how much is arc how much is circle how much is ellipsoid areas and these things will show you it's easily so you can see the lines here okay so it's very very important it's make easy your work and faster you can use it in your autocad it's very good okay let close me this and now we need to check something else uh, this option okay select this and press enter i usually show you the areas regions things you can see a total area lisp as a polyline is this area circle is this area ellipsoid is ellipse is this one uh, sorry ellipse is this one uh, okay so i think it's okay you can see if you want to check here some commands from here you can see it this is tl calculation of total length tlp calculate length and packing points ltm it's calculated so you can check its calculation of areas tar you will use tar you can use shortcuts or you can use from the menu as well as from this option okay so i think it's clear uh, let me show something uh, the counting from the text uh, you can see this is the text uh, tab we will go to the number and later we will go to the other option as well uh, this menu will be open just put here one one we need to add the increment of one middle and okay let's put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it will create automatically it's very good and see to do and create a good font of your counting okay so the next we will show with the circle uh, let's go again to the same option and put it here one because we need to start counting from start one increment is one and here we will need a necklace text with circle you can do circle rectangle anything so this is with the circle it's look pretty good you can this use this format as well as uh, okay and now we will go to create some like uh, codings uh, you can use this rectangle as well if you need as a rectangle as you can see as a rectangle or shapes of the counting one two three okay you can use this uh, like polygon it's again looking pretty good okay so the next step we will go to check some things new here 
okay click okay ah, let's see this shape this is another one it's look pretty good okay the next go again to the number from here we will use some points we will create some like code suppose pt or anything p o n t p o i n t and i will put it here some numbers like zero zero dts and we'll put it here some zero zero one okay and go here to this option slot and go to select this one so guys and click on ok uh, now you can see your uh, codes is created so you can use this as for main holes or any other lines if you want to see if you want to rotate you can use by your keyboard there is the angle options you can uh, select it control and you can move it in any rectangles or you can rotate it as by as by rotate commands just put arrow and you can rotate okay so this is i think it's uh, which i explain if i want to explain this all its video video will be go very lengthy that's why i'm just uh, want to show few of them which one is easy and you can use it uh, in your you can import the points always load and you can import and export the points csv if you have coordinates you can import or export from here you can copy object layout uh, so you can do the offset and you can use this for the offset if we have some shapes just check this one offset and click here okay uh, right offset suppose we need 120 it's creating okay so again we need to offset from this uh, okay this one click and select we need again offset you can see layout one and layout two click ok cancel so there is many things uh, i can't uh, explain it in one video uh, the information is there already given you can check one by one the option and you can do the practice by yourself okay this is the offset put the values from here just 200 and press enter it's you can see the offset is created here and you can is same as well here okay just go to this option classic works if you click on this one it will be your drawings and classic works so it will be give you a good look of your AutoCAD drafting and notation you can see here let's click this one yeah this is changes now it's looking pretty good drafting and annotation are okay it's and this workspace is created by the uh, this menu and your is, is coming the commands is here the menu bar is here things is here it's okay and it's a uh, pretty good this one is the menu you can click here now it should become become as a list if you click on one it will become one by one here just go to drawings this is the option and go to attribute this is the option for the attribute go to blocks dimension layers polylines lines objects so it will become our oh, dear student this was the tutorial which explained this extension a menu uh, it's very important you can download this link from the description we will see in the next tutorial if you like this video please like share subscribe and keep in touch with the channel we will see in the next tutorial goodbye